Thanks for joining me today. As you saw in the title, today's video is all about why you should 100% absolutely choose the Unity over the Wonder. Now then, you may be a Wonder owner or you may be looking at a Wonder and say, you're absolutely crazy. I'm, the Wonder is a much better option than the Unity. Well, I'm splitting this video up into two parts. Next week's video is actually why you should 100% absolutely choose the Wonder over the Unity. And so I wanna give a side-by-side -side comparison, but today we are talking all about the Unity. Now then, I own a Unity. I have a 2020 Unity FX, absolutely love it. And so these are my thoughts on why I chose the Unity over a Wonder. Now then, the chasm between the Mercedes chassis, aka the Unity, and the Ford Transit ch chassis, aka the Wonder, is getting smaller and smaller. Ford has really upped the game with the Transit, and so it's becoming much, much more desirable than what the Mercedes offers. But again, the Mercedes does offer some things that the Transit does not. So we're gonna get into all of those. But before we do, I am gonna say this video is being brought to you by, well, kind of myself. So Pagosa Supply Co. is my company that uh, we have some you know, custom-made leisure travel van accessories. One of those is the chop block slash sink cover. So LTVs come with a big, heavy Corian sink cover that you're not gonna wanna cut on or anything. It's really just a sink cover, right? So we designed and manufactured our own in bamboo, also in a food grade plastic called Arctic White that I just store my uh, Corian countertop that came with my LTV in my garage. And I absolutely love either my bamboo or my white. But anyway, if you want more information on that, you can get that at pagosasupply.co. But anyway, let's get into the video. All right, the very first reason you should choose a Unity over Wonder is it's a Mercedes, man. So the Mercedes chassis right now has some features that the Wonder doesn't, um, and has some features that the Wonder probably never will have. And that first thing is a much larger cab. So with this much larger cab, it is so much easier to get in and out of the, the, the cab between the house and the cab. Um, makes it a breeze, actually. Um, if you've got large dogs, they can go and lay in between the seats, whereas I don't think they can necessarily do that. If you watch uh, you know, RV Lifestyle with Mike and Jennifer Wendelin, their big dog, Bo used to lay in between the seats in their Unity and now can't do that in the Wonder. And so, you know, there is that consideration is the size of the cab. Now it also sits up much higher. I do like that because it gives you a little more command of the road when you're driving something so large. Now then, with the 2019 uh, chassis model year of the Mercedes, they really upped the game in it. And the indoor, inside of it literally looks like an S-Class Mercedes. It is beautiful. And that 10 inch wide screen that's in there, man, you can't go wrong. And hey, Mercedes, that's also a game changer. It's like having Alexa built into your, you know, into your cab stereo. And so it'll answer everything like, uh, you know, I mean, temperature, what time is it, how far to there, guide me to here, and it does it really, really efficiently, really good, hardly any lag, I absolutely love it. Now then, when you look at the outside of that Mercedes chassis, it also is fantastically beautiful. You know, it is, uh, it, it sits up higher and bigger. The Ford, you know, if you're a Wonder owner, don't kill me, but to me, that Ford Transit really looks a little more of a delivery van look, whereas the Mercedes cab, Boy, it is classy. I really love it. The big Mercedes emblem, those LED headlights. Um, it's gorgeous. And then, and oddly enough, it has a feature that I absolutely love, which is the windshield wipers. It's odd how well they work. And the water comes out of the actual windshield wiper, doesn't squirt up. And so it really cleans off efficiently. A bug hits and bam, you can, out, you know, it just comes in and cleans it off immediately. Whereas when it sprays up the water, sometimes that's not great. I have no idea if the Ford has that or not. If it does, put in the comments down below. Another thing that the Mercedes has right now that the Ford does not, which is adaptive cruise control, and I won't own another vehicle without it. All of my vehicles have adaptive cruise control and I love it. It makes driving a cinch and it makes it where you just, you know, you don't even want to stop and pull over. I do understand that the 22 year LTV models, the Ford Transit chassis will then have adaptive cruise. The electronic steering of the Mercedes, 
I mean, it's a dream. Now, if you want to see my video about driving the Unity, driving that Mercedes chassis, I'll link that right there because it really is, is a dream to drive. Absolutely love it. So the first reason to choose a Unity over a Wonder is the cab, that Mercedes. All right, reason number two to choose a Unity over a Wonder, and this is a Leisure Travel Van engineered item, and that is the air conditioning. The air conditioning in the Unity is ducted, and in the Wonder, it is not. So what does that mean? That means that in a Unity, it's much like your house. It has ducts that run through the ceiling. You cannot see the air conditioner. All you see are the vents, and the air is evenly distributed throughout the coach. In the Wonder, it is a complete opposite. It is the uh, air conditioner sits on the in the back of uh, the unit, and so it actually comes down. And if you're taller, you could hit your head. If it was me, I'm six foot two, I would hit my head on that air conditioner unit that comes out, and that is where the air also comes out. So what does that mean? That means in the back of the unit is where all of the air conditioner is pouring its air. So to get up to the front, it has to make its way up there. A very inefficient, um, and in a hot summer day, you're really not gonna like that at all because it's gonna take a long time to, to cool that entire cab down. And in a leisure travel van, most likely the very front of the coach is gonna be the hottest because that's also where the cab is, the least insulated part of your coach. And so you gotta think about that. So the ducted air, man, that is a game changer as far as comfort goes. That's not that big of a deal if you're either if you're not that tall and you won't bang your head on that um, on that air conditioner unit coming out of the ceiling, or if you're in a cooler climate where it's really not going to be you know like here in Dallas where it gets 100 degrees down here in the south, then that may not be a big deal. But if you're in a hot climate or you're tall, that's a big deal. All right, reason number three is automatic leveling system. I can tell you I absolutely love this feature and I don't think I would own a coach without it unless I had to. And so with LTV, they only offered in the Unity and not the Wonder. Now then, there are some people that have done it after market. In fact, the Wendelands, again, with RV Lifestyle, they did it after market on their Wonder. Now then, there's got to be a reason that LTV doesn't do it, because if they, if it was good for it, or if it was easy to do, whatever the whatever it is, LTV would do it, because it's another profit point, right? And so there is a reason that the Wonder doesn't offer levelers from Leisure Travel Vans, and so it's a huge benefit to have Leisure Travel Vans factory installing those levelers. Now then, it doesn't just make the coach level, it also makes it stable. Once you're in the coach with those leveling, well, with those levelers down, man, it is a rock solid foundation. I 100% would suggest, if you're getting a Unity, definitely spring for those automatic levelers. You can thank me later. I also put snap pads on and you can watch the video about snap pads right there. If you ha already have a Unity and have the levelers, snap pads are fantastic. And uh, also definitely would go on any coach I had with any kind of a leveling system on it. So then that is a major reason to get a Unity over a Wonder. All right, this fourth reason. You're either gonna say that's a huge benefit or you're gonna say that's a huge deficit. Don't want it, and that is slides. My Unity FX has a slide. There are a couple of Unity models, the MB and I believe the corner bed models all have slides, um, and none of the wonders have slides. Now, what, what's the pros and cons of the slides? Well, what I love about the slides, when that, that slide is open, um, and Janet and I are in the coach with our two dogs, we're not tripping over all each other. The coach feels spacious, it's huge, especially the FX that I have with that rear, you know, what's basically from coach to the very end is all open. And so it gives a very, very spacious feel. You're not fumbling all over each other. Now then, what are the negatives about that? Well, I mean, a slide is something else that could go wrong, right? And with RVs, we know it's not if something's gonna go wrong, but when, and so the slide is something that could malfunction. So you got to be thinking about that. But as for me, boy, I absolutely love having a slide, having that spacious open feeling in a 25 foot coach. And it just gives you the real ability to live in with another person, with dogs, all kinds of things without feeling like you're just literally tripping all over each other. So anyway, 
To me, huge advantage, and that's why I would choose a Unity over a Wonder. Okay, reason number five for me that I would choose a Unity over a Wonder is the engine. The engine in a Unity is the, with the Mercedes is a diesel. In the Wonder with the Ford, it is a gas. So what are the clear benefits from that? Well, to me, the benefits are extremely high fuel mileage for an RV. So whenever I'm going down the highway, on a normal highway, it's about 17. If I'm on a flat road like West Texas, I'm getting 19 miles to the gallon. And so that is huge, especially when you're talking about such small fuel tanks in both the Wonder and the Unity. They both have a 24 and a half gallon fuel tank. So I get upwards to 400 miles of range with my Unity with that diesel engine. Whenever you're looking at the gas engine in the Wonder and the reports that I've been seeing, people are getting 12, 13 miles the gallon, right? And so that's going to be about almost 100 miles less of range when you're looking at that small fuel tank. And where, you know, there's going to be times when you want to pull over and stop, but not if you don't have to, right? So with the extended range, you know, just the overall better, better fuel economy and the expense of that, then, you know, you can't go wrong with the Unity. Now then, also where this really shines is in towability. So I've done a couple of videos on what kind of a, a flat tow vehicle that you can tow with a Unity, and I'll link that video right there. Uh, there's a couple of them actually, part one and part two. Um, but the Unity is going to have a much higher towing capacity, which is, which I tell everybody, don't go over 4,000 pounds. You know, you'll see on the videos with Dean, he says 5,000, but that's not a real number. That's just what the hitch will carry. You got to do all of your calculations on your gross vehicle weight rating combined, gross vehicle rate rating, your OCCCC, all of those different things. And I explained those in that video that's linked there. But anyway, so if you want to tow a car, if you want to tow a trailer, if you want better fuel economy, all of those good things, then the Unity is 100% the better choice for you over the Wonder. Now then, like I said, next, um, next video next week is going to be the complete opposite. It's going to be all of the reasons why you should 100% choose a Wonder over a Unity. And so don't fret if you're a Wonder fan. We're going to be talking about the advantages then. So you're going to want to make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button so you know when I release the video. Also, hey, if you if you do me a favor and uh, give me a couple of thumbs up, right? Really helps the algorithm. Really thank you all for subscribing and for watching. If this is your first time on the channel, I'm always talking about RVs and leisure travel vans and gear and gadgets, all sorts of things. And so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, but that's it for this week. And so we will see you next week where we're going to do the complete opposite. We're going to talk about the wonder and why it's better than the unity. So we'll see you then.